Double click on the images software and you will see a toolbar over here. Once you have this toolbar, go and click on the file, then click on the open. It will take you to the folder, so you can go to the folder where you have saved your TM or ACM images. Here I will be using TM images. Over here you can find the TM images have different format like JPG or PNG. The good thing about image is it can operate for all type of image file. So choose any one of them. So I'll be choosing TM with PNG. Open it. Then we'll see a beautiful TM image of nano rods. Now first thing on the left hand top corner we can see the size of this image is 994 into 994 pixel. So we need to convert this into nanometer. So how to do that one? First click on the magnifying glass and then click on the image near the scale bar. So now you will see the image is moved little bit toward the left. So if you want to bring it in the center, you can use the scrolling tool. So click on the scrolling tool, select it and move your image in the center. Okay. Once you're done with this one, the next step is select the straight line. Okay. So you need to select this straight and then move toward the scale bar, press the shift and then draw a straight line connecting the starting and the end point of the scale bar. Once you're done with this one, then you go to the analyze, click over here and then here you will find the option to set scale. So click this one. So here it shows the distance in pixel. That's the point A to the point B and it's 153. That's in the pixel. Known distance is what is about the scale is a 200 nanometer. So here you need to change to 200 nanometer. The pixel aspect ratio for this image is 1 and the unit length you need to change it to nanometer. That's what you need to do in this window. So once you're done with this one then it will show scale is equal to 0.765 pixel per nanometer. So just click OK. Now this way we define the scale. Now we need to go and measure the size of individual nano rod. Here you can also notice on the, tip, uh, on the left top corner earlier it was in the pixel now it's changed to nanometer with the image size 1299.35 into 1299.35 okay now let's go back and click on the image and in the image you will see option for the zoom and then go and click on the scale to fit so it will scale it to fit. now let's consider that we want to focus or we want to calculate the mean diameter in particular area uh, in this case, I want to calculate mean diameter in this area. Okay, so again, I will go back and click on the magnifying glass and click in those area. Okay, so once I magnified it, then I will go and click on the straight. Select this straight and draw line so that you will get the diameter of the nano rod. Once you draw this line, now you need to do one thing. If you are a Mac user, press command and D so that will help you to draw the line okay and if you are a windows user then use control D so command D so this way it will draw a line the next step is we want to measure so you need to press command F command M for the Mac user and control M for the windows user so command M so once you press this then you will get the list so this shows a result with the length of this line that is nothing but the diameter of this nano rod and some other factor those are not important what we need is the length of nano rod similarly i will repeat and measure at least the mean i will measure the diameter of 10 nano rod just to show an example how this software work for once you got a table uh, you can do and go back to the result and over here you will find option for the summarize so just click on the summarize so it will sum up this list and automatically the software will help you to calculate the mean diameter or the mean size of this di diameter that is 42 nanometer if we consider the case of this 15 nano rods then standard deviation is 9.7 in the next video i will demonstrate how to use origin software to plot the histogram 
and then perform log normal distribution fitting to get the mean diameter from those histogram. Now go to the file and click on save as and uh, let's give the name as AS and define the destiny folder. So I want to, I want to save it as on the desktop and click on the save. So over here you can find the file, right click, open with, add the number for Mac user or Microsoft Excel in Windows. So it will give the similar table with all the nanorods with the diameter and also the mean value standard deviation and the minima and maxima. And I hope you learn through this video how to calculate the mean diameter of a nanorod or a nanoparticle. Uh, do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button.